There is a movement underway at Mabel Bassett Correctional Center. Ironing. Trying to make sure that our families are safe. Cutting. It's easily preventable. And lots of sewing. We heard it on the news the other night. We should still do that. The inmates here are answering a national cry for help. It's sad it takes something like this to bring everyone together, but it's beautiful when you see it happen. Captain Bennett oversees the Warriors Quilting Club. It is a team of women who share a love for sewing. These ladies are great at what they do. They're great at sewing, they're great at putting stuff together, they work well as a team. And we have all this here and we decided we needed to step up and help. In the midst of a viral pandemic. When it's made with your hands and made with love, it goes a long ways. We're gonna keep cutting till we run out of material. And dwindling supplies of personal protective gear. These women are using their skills to help fill a critical need. You can't imagine what they're gonna look like when we get done with them. They're among the scores of people answering pleas from first responders, hospitals, and nursing homes for face masks. Oh man, I don't know. We got a lot of materials, so as many as they will make, probably thousands, I'm sure. Hobby Lobby donated a mountain of fabric. These women were eager to contribute their time and effort. It means a lot to me to be able to give back to the community and to make a difference and to show that we are more than just uh, a number and uh, that we actually do care about the community and that we can give back. Not only are they sewing masks, the inmates pray over each one, that they'll create a layer of protection from an invisible enemy. I absolutely literally pray over them while I'm working on it. I, uh, prayer is a very big part of my life. This is, a, this is a duty and this is a service and a way for us to give back. So that's one of the things that makes it terribly important. Stick together and come together as a community and I think we'll make it through. They have the fabric and a heart to help. It is a potentially life-saving ministry from a patchwork of improbable heroes.